When determining a safe storage area, you should consult the product safety data sheet. If the product is a dangerous good, then you should also consult a dangerous goods compatibility chart. This chart provides information on what dangerous goods can be stored together and what dangerous goods need to be segregated. The dangerous goods compatibility chart is based on the segregation distances for significant storage volumes like drums and IBCs. If you are looking to store in a laboratory or laboratory sized quantities, follow the intentions of the chart but take a practical approach when applying the distances stated. A dangerous goods compatibility chart looks like this. We have the dangerous goods classes across the top and down the side of the chart creating a grid. We have our flammable gases, our non-toxic non-flammable gases, our toxic gases, oxidising gases, our flammable and combustible liquids, our flammable solids. We have our spontaneously combustibles, we have our dangerous when wet products, we have our oxidising agents, we have our organic peroxides, our toxic substances and our corrosive agents. So now let's apply the chart. We'll start with the storage of the flammable liquid with an oxidising agent. We find flammable and combustible liquids here in the first column. We find oxidising agents here in the top row. Where this row and this column intersect gives us guidance on the storage of the two products. In this case we should segregate these products by at least 5 metres.